actually very funny that people who have followed me for almost three years think that they can bully me out of my opinion. No one can bully me into submission. If you watch my stuff, you should know that. Hello everyone, today's video is going to be a very interesting and different one. Do you guys remember my last video calling out Simone Biles for her really disgusting pro-abortion views? If you haven't watched that yet, the link is in the description for you to check that out. Unfortunately, it turns out that a number of people who follow me on Facebook actually agree with her. I recently posted a quote from my Simone Biles video to Facebook, and while many people did agree with and even appreciated my blunt stance on abortion, 43,000 of you to be exact, there are some that said pretty nasty things that shocked me, so I'm here to address them. The quote that prompted some people to unfollow me was specifically this one here, which reads, I am not simply pro-life, I am anti-abortion. I support abolishing abortion altogether. I will admit this is something that most conservatives and pro-lifers do not say because they actually don't believe in abolishing abortion. The reason I am not simply pro-life and I instead make the distinction that I'm anti-abortion is because language matters and I want to be very specific when speaking to people about what it is I am fighting against and that is abortion. And it's not the type of fighting that encourages regulating abortion with heartbeat bills or other similar legislation. It means advocating for the total abolition of this evil and barbaric atrocity that has been dubbed a woman's right. Before I read some comments, if you do believe that baby lives matter, like I do, then you can get this really neat t-shirt right now over at lhmerch.com and use the promo code FREEDOM15 for 15% off your entire order. After seeing some of these comments, I realized that the country is in much greater need of pro-life activism than I thought, and this shirt is a great way to let the world know what you think. Now, apparently, I've been a little unclear in my messaging because people are shocked to learn, after three years of me being a political commentator, that I am anti-abortion. I will own this mistake, and I'm so sorry for the confusion, so let me set the record straight. I believe abortion should be illegal in every single circumstance. What about rape? What about incest? What about blah, blah, blah? I didn't stutter. I said what I said. Every single circumstance. I believe women should be held legally accountable for killing or seeking to kill their child. What if they're brainwashed? What if they're forced to blah, blah, blah? Again, I didn't stutter. Consequences are in order for this behavior. It is a legitimate and necessary use of government power to save the lives of children in this country who are being slaughtered every day. Okay, now that I've cleared that up, let's read some comments. Starting out, we have the most bizarre one that I read. I used to follow you because some of your interviews, etc., were quite interesting and alternative, let's say. But with this, you've lost me completely. Unfollowing and never following again. You need to regain a hold on the modern world and all that is right and wrong. Things happen in life, and not everything can be a hardline attitude. Disappointing in your blinkered viewpoint. It's not an airport, Karen. It's Facebook. You don't need to announce your departure. But this comment shows exactly what's happening to the ability to remain rooted in morals and convictions in this country. This person wants me to disregard what I know to be true about when human life exists so I can regain a hold on the modern world and all that is right and wrong. There are so many things in this modern world that are promoted as right when we know they are wrong. The modern world tells us to reject Jesus Christ, reject motherhood, and reject the basic biology of what it means to be male or female. The truth about what abortion is and that it needs to be abolished does not change because of the year we are currently in. It always has been and always will be wrong and evil. The next comment demonstrates what happens when someone opens their mouth without actually watching any of my content. So then you also should protest outside of IVF clinics as well since they destroy countless amounts of embryos. Oh wait, that's right, it doesn't fit your logic. They only want to sit outside abortion clinics and harass females going to a routine doctor's appointment. 
real cool pro-lifers. I actually go into great detail about my opposition to IVF treatments on my show at libertyhangout.tv. If this person actually took the time to learn what I believe, they could have prevented themselves from looking so foolish, but actually... On the other hand, their next sentence shows that there's probably no saving them. I can confidently say, as a woman, I've never gone to an abortion clinic for a routine doctor's appointment. If this person truly believes women are getting routine care for their general health at an abortion clinic, they would call it a doctor's office. This comment is clearly not from a fan, but I'll take it anyway, because I like it. Just like the fascist you are, can't wait to see what other BS hardline you'll take next to say relevant. <laughs> <laughs> now you see, I don't care what you call me. If wanting to outlaw the slaughter of children makes me a fascist, then I don't care. The second right-wingers who actually want to accomplish political goals in this country stop caring about being called names is the second we regain our political power. You can't bully me. This next comment is from someone who remains polite but ends up having one of the worst opinions I've ever seen. Love you, Kate, but you should change your position on this unless you want to see millions of crack babies born into the U.S. who will likely be abandoned by parents who never wanted them to begin with, giving irresponsible people the right to terminate babies they don't want to care for is better for our society. I didn't believe that until I lived in inner cities. It's a crime to murder an innocent, no argument there, but sadly those babies will be born into homes without parents or a dysfunctional home altogether. Why subject children to this treatment? They'll likely turn out to be a burden on our society. That's just my opinion. Okay, so there's a lot to unpack there. Let's start with the claim that crack babies would be filling our country if we outlawed abortion. If we look at the numbers, that's actually completely untrue. According to the research arm of Planned Parenthood themselves, the Gutmacher Institute, roughly all abortions are sought out because the woman isn't ready to have children or children would change their lives. Problems with health were at the bottom of the list. But regardless, there's a better reason for why this person is wrong. We do not get to choose whether people should live or die based on the value they are able to provide to the world. We acknowledge that they have a right to life because they have intrinsic value as a human being. God didn't make a mistake by putting them here. Otherwise, you can use the same standard for killing anybody. And that's wrong. This is the same exact logic used to justify every single genocide on the books. We claim X group of people are bad for society and then X group of people end up being targeted for extinction. If your logic makes you sound like a genocidal dictator, you need to do some self-reflection respectfully. Okay, this next comment just makes me confused. I semi agree. My problem lies with late term abortions. If it can survive outside the womb, abortions are simply unacceptable. But it is also about freedom. In America, we should have the freedom to make that choice for yourself. However, morally speaking, I find it wrong after the first trimester. <sighs> okay, first off, you don't have the freedom to kill people. Not even in America. That's not an example of freedom. Second, what exactly happens at the transition between the first trimester and the second one for you to see the humanity in a baby? Is it magic? Is there a secret formula that I haven't heard about? Or perhaps there's no consistent logical standpoint with that opinion. If it's wrong after the first trimester, it's wrong during the first trimester for all the same reasons you can come up with. We are a human being from the second of conception for all the time beyond that. Now, I will admit this next comment made me a little triggered. Hi, Kate. I appreciate your stand on our Second Amendment rights, but it almost feels hypocritical for you to be so one-sided on this issue. You. I would have bet that you would have been pro-choice. I genuinely don't understand this one. And 
I don't support the right to defend yourself because it's written in the Constitution. I support it because self-defense is fundamental to preserving the lives of you and your family. Therefore, it is only consistent to believe in protecting the lives of humans in the womb. Next comment. We need to stop trying so hard to change the law and more time changing the reasons for the law. Change a women's situation so she doesn't even have to consider an abortion. Abolish the desire and change the outcome for good. So, get this. A woman doesn't have to consider an abortion. Who would have thought? And if we refer to the study I mentioned before, most women choose to eliminate their child's life because they simply just didn't want to have them. Am I really supposed to believe that ever since abortion was made legal in this country, programs, resources, financial aid, and help for mothers has declined? I'm not falling for that one. Besides government programs, there are countless of private sector charities that deal with this very same thing. However, and you might not like hearing this, but women don't get to tell us to give her stuff so she doesn't kill her child. I'd like to take this time to apply their logic to other crimes, and here's an example. We need to stop trying so hard to change the law and more time changing the reasons for the law. Change a rapist situation so he doesn't even have to consider rape, abolish the desire, and change the outcome for good. Or here, here's another one. Change a thief situation so she doesn't even have to consider stealing, abolish the desire, and change the outcome for good. If only we thought about abolishing the desire to rape and steal in the first place. You're, you're on to something. I love how at the end of this comment, they say change the outcome for good. I agree, sir, and abolition is the only way we make that happen. The last comment I will be addressing today is this. I'm pro-life, but also pro-choice. The government should not be involved in medical matters. Also, if we would ban abortions outright, they would still exist. They'd just be far more risky for the women involved. First off, this is exactly why I don't just say I'm pro-life. I don't want to be in the same group as someone like this. Their point about abortion still existing if we ban them is true. And if this is their logic, then any criminal behavior that is outlawed right now shouldn't be. Here's a list of behaviors that are outlawed in this country but still happen. Rape, assault, murder, theft, drug and human trafficking, robbery, and many, many more. And guess what? They all still happen. We don't use the government or our laws to permit people to commit these crimes. We don't encourage it. We have consequences not only to deter people from engaging in them, but also to make sure that punishments are outlined when they do engage in them. It should be no different when a woman seeks out someone to commit an abortion to end her child's life. The last thing I'll say about this is that it is so incredibly aggravating to see people worried about risk to the mother if they were to commit an illegal abortion. But have you ever once thought about the risk the child endures, whether the abortion is legal or illegal? An abortion ends with harm to an individual. The entire intent behind the action is to kill someone. And over 1 million people die every year due to the unimaginable violence being committed in this country. Country. I'll wrap up by saying this, in case you still haven't gotten it yet, I am not just pro-life. I am anti-abortion. Don't mix it up and don't put words in my mouth. It's actually very funny that people who have followed me for almost three years think that they can bully me out of my opinion. No one can bully me into submission. If you watch my stuff, you should know that. And especially isn't gonna happen on an issue where people are literally dying. If this makes you unfollow me at all, make sure you announce it in the comments so the people with a backbone in this country can show you the door on your way out.